वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री ऑनलाइन डॉट गुरु टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एसिटल डी हाइड फॉर्मूला ऑफ एसिटल डी हाइड इज सी एच थ्री सी एच ओ इट्स आई यू पी एस ई नेम इज इथेनल वन इम्पॉर्टेंट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ हेलो एसिटल डी हाइड इज हेलोजिनेशन इन हेलोजिनेशन एच एटम ऑफ एल्किल ग्रुप आर रिप्लेस्ड बाय हेलोजन एटम्स वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज फॉर्मल डी हाइड डू नॉट गिव दिस रिएक्शन तो एसिटल डी हाइड सी एच थ्री सी एच ओ रिएक्ट विद सी एल टू देन गिव सी सी एल थ्री सी एच ओ प्लस थ्री एच सी एल एच एटम ऑफ एल्किल ग्रुप आर रिप्लेस्ड बाई थ्री सी एल इट्स नेम इज क्लोरल सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी इज हेलो फॉर्म दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज गिवेन बाई एसिटल डी हाइड एसिटोन एंड अदर मेथिल की टोन्स दिस is characteristic test of ch3 co group compounds having ch3 co group gives hello form reaction when this reaction is carried out with any oh and i2 or any 2 co3 plus i2 then yellow solid ido form is obtained chloro form is also obtained when reaction is carried out with cl2 and nh we also uh, get bromo form by br2 plus nh first of all acetaldehyde reacts with cl2 and nh then 3h atom of alkyl group are replaced by halogen and we get chloral this chloral on hydrolysis with nh gives chloroform reaction as a whole is acetaldehyde plus chlorine plus nh gives chloroform and sodium formate sodium chloride and water next property is aldol condensation this is an important property of aldehydes when two or more molecules of same or different carbonyl compounds containing alpha hydrogen atom unite together in presence of dilute alkali like NaOH barium hydroxide or potassium carbonate to form aldol acetaldehyde undergoes aldol condensation in presence of dilute nh or k2co3 to form aldol in this case beta hydroxy butyraldehyde is obtained which on heating loses a water molecule this oh and h from this carbon atom and alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde this carbon is alpha this carbon is beta alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde croton aldehyde is obtained in acetaldehyde these three hydrogen atoms are alpha hydrogen atoms acetaldehyde reacts with benzaldehyde benzaldehyde no alpha h atoms are present in benzaldehyde in presence of base then aldol is formed which on heating loses water molecule and form cinnamaldehyde cinnamaldehyde is also alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde
नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज शेव्स टेस्ट शेव्स रिएजेंट इज डाइल्यूट सॉल्यूशन ऑफ पैरा रोजेनलीन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड हुज रेड और पिंक कलर डिसएपियर्स बाय पासिंग एसओ2 गैस इन दिस सॉल्यूशन एल्डिहाइड्स गिव पिंक कलर विद शेव्स रिएजेंट नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी रिएक्शन विद अमोनिया Except formaldehyde, all aldehydes give addition product with ammonia. In the case of acetaldehyde, we get acetaldehyde ammonia. Next property is oxidation. Aldehydes on oxidation gives acid with same number of carbon atom. Suppose two carbon atoms are present in acetaldehyde, then we get acid containing two carbon atoms. Acetaldehyde on oxidation gives acetic acid. Strong oxidizing agent used for oxidation is acidic K2Cr2O7, acidic KMnO4. tolens reagent bandic solution filling solution etc tolens reagent a monical solution of silver nitrate is known as tolens reagent aldehydes give black precipitate or silver mirror with tolens reagent aldehyde is oxidized to acid and ag2o reduced to silver filling solution as a whole filling solution is alkaline solution of cupric ions complex with sodium potassium tartrate there are two separate filling solution we can say filling solution 1 or filling solution a is dilute solution of copper sulfate filling solution second or b is sodium potassium tartrate and nuh aldehyde reduces cupric ions present in filling solution to cuprous ion that is red in color acetaldehyde is oxidized to acid acetic acid and cupric oxide is reduced to cuprous oxide cupric oxide is blue in color while cuprous oxide is red in color similarly bandic solution it is a solution of copper sulfate sodium citrate and sodium carbonate aldehyde gives reddish brown precipitate with benedict solution next important property is tschenko reaction this reaction is modified form of kenny jarrow's reaction in this reaction one molecule of aldehyde is oxidized and one is reduced then finally we get ester because when acid and alcohol react together then we get ester The aldehydes undergo this reaction in presence of aluminium ethoxide to form ester. Next reaction reaction with alcohols. In presence of dry HCl gas, first of all hemiacetal is formed. When further react with ethyl alcohol, then we get acetal. Next property is polymerization. Peraldehyde. Peraldehyde is formed when anhydrous acetaldehyde is treated with concentrated H two SO four. In this reaction, three molecules of acetaldehyde polymerize to form peraldehyde. 
this is the structure of peraldehyde next is metaldehyde when four molecules of acetaldehyde polymerize to form metaldehyde this reaction is carried out in presence of hcl structure of metaldehyde is given here next addition reaction addition of hydrogen aldehyde are reduced to primary alcohol CHO group is reduced to CH2OH. CH2OH. This is primary alcoholic group. Acetaldehyde is reduced to ethyl alcohol, that is primary alcohol. This reaction is carried out in presence of lithium aluminium hydride and ether or hydrogen in presence of palladium or hydrogen in presence of nickel next important reduction is cle mansons reduction in this reaction carbonyl group co group is reduced to ch2 in presence of amalgamated zinc and concentrated hcl in acetaldehyde when acetaldehyde is reduced by amalgamated zinc then it gives alkane next property is addition of sodium bisulfite when carbonyl group undergoes addition with NaH SO3 that is sodium bisulfide then COH SO3 Na addition product is formed in the case of acetaldehyde acetaldehyde sodium bisulfide compound is formed next addition of Grignard reagent Grignard reagent forms addition product which on hydrolysis gives secondary alcohol formaldehyde gives primary alcohol in carbonyl group this is grignard reagent rmgx addition takes place at this point omgx and r on hydrolysis this gives OH group in place of OMGX and we get secondary alcohol. Acetaldehyde when reacts with methyl magnesium bromide it is Grignard reagent then we get addition product which on hydrolysis gives isopropyl alcohol that is secondary alcohol. Another property of acetaldehyde is substitution reaction. Reaction with hydroxylamine. When acetaldehyde reacts with hydroxylamine, then oxime. In this case, acetaldoxim is formed. One water molecule is eliminated and we get oxime. Next substitution reaction is reaction with hydrogen. Hydrogen is NH2, NH2. When carbonyl group reacts with NH2, NH2, then one water molecule is eliminated and we get hydrogen. Similarly, acetaldehyde reacts with hydrogen, then one water molecule is eliminated and we get acetaldehyde hydrogen. Next reaction, reaction with phenyl hydrogen. When 1H of hydrogen is replaced by C6H5 means phenyl group, then we get phenyl hydrogen. When carbonyl 
group reacts with phenyl hydrogen then we get phenyl hydrazone acetaldehyde gives acetaldehyde phenyl hydrogen and one water molecule is eliminated this is phenyl hydrazine next reaction reaction with semi carbazide when one h of hydrogen is replaced by co and h2 then we get nh2 nh co nh2 that is known as semi carbazide acetaldehyde or any carbonyl group when reacts with semi carbazide then one water molecule is eliminated and we get semi carbazone acetaldehyde gives acetaldehyde semi carbazone with semi carbazide and one water molecule is eliminated from here next reaction with phosphorus pentachloride alkylidene dichloride is obtained oxygen atom of carbonyl group is replaced by 2 cl atom in acetaldehyde one o is replaced by 2 cl then we get ethylidene dichloride if you like this video then like share and comment this video if you want a video on any specific topic of chemistry please comment below for more articles on chemistry please visit our site chemistryonline.guru thank you